Oh, hello there. I was just doing some drawing. And uh, that's one of my many talents, is drawing. Now, um, drawing is no challenge to me. I can pretty much draw anything. So what I'd like to do today is uh, draw a picture of you, the one who was watching this video. Now, I'm going to use a psychic method, because I obviously can't see you. And so here we go. I, uh, I picture you as someone who is a sort of a roughly shaped head like mine. It's kind of like an oval. And you have a little bit of a bumps on the side of your face. Now I picture that you're a female. So I'm going to draw female characteristics. And uh, starting with the hair. Now you have kind of long hair. And it kind of drapes onto your shoulders, but it doesn't go much farther than that. Now, you have bangs. Kind of like an 80s sitcom star. And um, your eyes are like little ovals, sideways ovals. They kind of peek out at the corners. So I'm going to do that. And this is all psychic, mind you. And you have blue eyes. This is my pen. It's only blue, so you have to forgive the color. And your nose? There's not many nice things to say about your nose, but. It's probably a little wider than mine, a little shorter maybe, like a little pug nose. You have a little bit of... You have no mustache. I'm getting that from you because you're a woman. And, uh... I know you smiled before in your life. But that's not what I'm sensing now. I'm sensing kind of like a... And, uh... I see that you put something nice in your hair. It's like a little barrette. It's actually more like a nurse's cap. It's kind of tilting towards one side. Am I right? Now, your neck is very normal. That's the simple part. And now I'm going to skip the whole head for now. I'm going to go to your feet. You are wearing simple shoes. In fact, they're not shoes at all. They're slippers. And uh, one of your legs is skinnier than the other, but I can work with that. Now, even though you are a lady, you're not wearing a dress or anything, you're wearing jeans with a belt, with a man's buckle. And you have a little bit of a pocket on your, your jeans. They're kind of sewn on the outside. In fact, it looks like you're wearing backwards pants. And then I'm going to go up to your shoulders. You're very narrow-shouldered. And you're going like this with your hand right about now, ready to slap me. And the other hand is at rest and on your side. And your neck is very skinny. And uh, 
You're wearing some shirt with buttons. The top ones are all... It's all right up to the top except for the little bit of a crack at the top. Now I'm sensing in the background you're inside but yet there's a window in the corner and the sun is shining through. There's rays of sunshine pouring in your window. The carpentry wasn't very good in this house because there's a little bit of an angle between the it's not perpendicular, it's just kind of like a little bit off. And your cheeks are a little bit rosy, not from the cold, just because you're nervous that I'm drawing you. And you're wearing a little pin right about here. It's a badge with a big smiley face on it. Because you're a friendly person and you like to reflect happiness in everything you do. Now it looks like your pants are on backwards, but I can't help the way you're all, you are right now. Um, and you're just standing there waving. And you have a little baby, actually. Not a little baby. And he's crying. And he's old enough to stand, and he's wearing little mitts on his hands, so you can't see his fingers. Now tell me if I'm wrong here, I think I'm totally bang on. And your baby has a little bit of a curly hair, but not too much. And uh, your ears are mostly hidden by your hair, but I'll draw them in anyways with a little bit more hair than I wrote than I drew before. And I think we're almost done. We have a little picture on the wall though in the background. in a nice frame. And in that frame is your nice kitty cat. And you can't even see his tail. Okay, so this is what I've drawn for you. Now I'm trying to look at it, see if there's anything I'm missing. No, I think this is going to be spot on. You're actually on a carpet. It's like shag carpet.
And it looks like you haven't vacuumed in a while, so I would suggest vacuuming your carpet. Now I'm going to roughly draw the carpet. I can't do it exactly because I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect by any stretch. Now, this is your picture. This is exactly what you look like, and I want you to correct me. There's your, there's you, there's your baby, there's the sun shining in, and on the wall is a picture of your cat. And notice your backwards pants. I can't help what you are. I can't help what you're wearing. So tell me, what, what, what do you think of this? What? Doesn't look anything like you? Come on. It looks just like you. You're a nurse. You're wearing a nurse's hat, and you're wearing, like, man's clothes. So it looks nothing like you. Is that what you're saying? Well, screw you. Screw you all. I put my heart and soul into this damn thing, and it looks nothing like you? I put my heart and my soul into this, and you say it looks nothing like you? And you just want to spit on my drawing? Well, I failed you. I, I guess I'm just not a psychic. This isn't you. This isn't you. Oh, that's it. I'm calling Uri Geller. How did I miss this? Where did I go wrong? Go away. I don't want you here anymore. I don't want you here anymore. Get away from me. See you later.